Okay, so today's one of those videos that's a bit different, completely unscripted. I just want to try this and know what will happen. Um, so today we're just editing a simple image and I'll kind of go through step by step what I do to turn a very normal and kind of boring image into a better looking image. So right now we're in Lightroom and uh, this is the image that I picked. Uh, during that day I didn't really get much that was nice or interesting. That one maybe but it was super blurry so it was just not worth it. Uh, so this was really just like the best that I got. So context of this image, I was just walking down going to Starbucks and uh, I was walking down this street and I look on my right, I notice how there's this lady walking by and I just really quickly snap, pack, took the image and um, yeah, I guess that's what I got. Now the composition here really, like you can tell it was done really quickly because like when I, once... Once again, I just like, Puh! it was done, right? So, like, the composition is kind of ruined, but what's really nice with modern cameras is with all this resolution, you can crop in. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here to our cropping tool, uh, and we're going to go at 4x5 because that's the Instagram format. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to take this uh, lady here, which is our subject, and we want to put her in the middle like so like that and instantly my image is already way better looking just because I did that right um go like this maybe zoom in a bit just a bit though okay so now this image already looks way better and I didn't do much right I just cropped in so if we look at this image, we got really dark, shadowy parts. We got our subject here, which is key. And we got our kind of like a bright yellow golden hour vibe sort of uh, ceiling. Uh, something we could do here is uh, bring back a lot of the highlights of that sky, I mean, by lowering the highlights. Uh, so there wasn't much here, but we did recover kind of like some small clouds here, so that's nice. Uh, we can lower a bit the shadows here, adds this more contrasty look. So this looks way better. Uh, by upping the whites, you can just make things pop a bit more. And by lowering the blacks, you kind of take those uh, black shadowy parts here, make them pop a bit more. Kind of gives you that... Um, cartoonish look kind of like a League of Legends characters where there's like a black outline or Borderlands is another game where there's black outlines anyways all this is say it kind of gives more of that cartoonish look um, to the image so our main goal here is to isolate our subject right here which is this lady um, she's very like dark right now probably because of the how the light was hitting her but also because I darkened most things but um, the goal here is really to make the lead the eyes towards our subject and we're gonna do that by subject isolation now usually people like to use bokeh as subject isolation as that's just an easy one but because the focus was so far away nothing is out of focus essentially even if this image was shot at f1.8 like most of the most of the things were in focus so our instead of using a uh, so, uh, bokeh as our subject isolation we're going to use just basic editing so we're going to take a mask here and what we're going to do is just we're going to brighten up our subject and instantly now the eyes are just more guided towards the subject but if we brighten this up too much then it kind of becomes apparent that this part of the image was brightened up so a way to counteract that is by using contrast instead right so I just a hundred percent contrast and so now it doesn't look very apparent that the the spot here was brightened up but it was uh, and and the way to do that was really just by sliding our contrast here I put a hundred percent you don't always need to do 100%, but in this case it worked because 
the lady here is very black so that kind of worked something I'm noticing here is this um, I'm not sure it's like like water water line there's like a leading line anyways there's a leading line that leads toward a subject so this is something that we can use as well uh, most of the lines are kind of leading towards a subject by the fact of how the image was composed but this line specifically is just very interesting so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a small mask I'm just gonna uh, like this I just want to brighten this up a bit just to lead it towards the lady but once again uh, now it's kind of apparent that something was brightened up so we're gonna use contrast again to counteract that and so now this instantly uh, is brighter but doesn't feel brighter if you get what I mean and if we go before let me just uh, this is before this is after so it's like a bit brighter but it doesn't feel brighter actually you know I think we could make this even brighter eh, something like that right so like it's way more punchy and just like yeah it hits you straight towards the lady here which is what we're trying to do right so this is this is looking way better way better I'll tell you right away um, something I'm noticing is uh, this bottom part is very unimportant and almost distracting in a way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gradient mask and I'm gonna darken it up maybe not too much just a bit just to make sure that the eyes doesn't your eyes aren't guided towards that part but once again, because I don't want to make it too apparent that this spot was darkened, I'm going to use clarity this time. And the reason why I'm using clarity and not uh, contrast this time is because if I use contrast, it just makes things even darker than it was, which is not what really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make it darker, but it doesn't feel darker. So this is why I use clarity instead, because it kind of like clarifies the little things I, and it it adds contrast as well but in a different way it's kind of it's I, I don't know how to explain it but anyways it's just something I do a lot so this is this is starting to look a bit better so as you can see it's darker darker but it doesn't feel too dark it just kind of feels like the rest here we got our leading lines and here a lady is popping right so Something I'm noticing here is uh, in the poles here, it's kind of like some purple fringing. Now this is just this is just very normal lens uh, fringing that happens. Usually when you use uh, a wide open lens, in my case I was shooting wide open at f1.8, uh, fringing happens. When you stop it down, it usually helps with that. If I were to be shooting at f2.8, it would probably not be there this is kind of distracting and like it happens here too here too it's kind of just like a, a meh sort of thing and I don't like it now what's really nice is that with this image there's no purples or uh, pinks or yellows right so what I can do is if I go down here to HSL color I can actually just take the purples the magentas desaturate them and just uh, maybe even reds yeah reds too and by doing that I instantly just kill it off so now it's way less distracting it doesn't hit you I just notice how I hit this uh, light that used to be red but because this is uh, in the shadow area it's really less apparent and so I don't really mind it so the last thing we can do is by use by completely grading the colors I like to use a, a color template before I start doing an image so in this case I'm noticing how there's the yellows and the blues kind of tones here uh, some people would use split toning I'm, I, I don't know I'm just not that kind of guy um, but uh, we could emphasize the yellows of the golden hour and the blues of the shadows and definitely make this image more popping 
And I think by limiting your amount of colors, you definitely make your images look better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mask just on the bright side or bright areas. Uh, that's about the most bright, bright areas. And I'm going to just up the temperature. Just really emphasize on that golden hour sort of vibe. And here I'm kind of going to do the same thing. But instead I'm going to do it with blues. Hmm. Right. Uh, right, yeah. And by just lowering the temperature, something like that, you kind of get that like blue and yellow template, which looks nice. So, yeah. Uh, for me, this would be a final image. I like it. I think I, I think I turned a very, yeah. So I turned a very normal and boring looking shot and make it look like a Instagram banger. Thank you.